Thanks, Stefan. Yeah, indeed, I'm Francesco Martino. I will present this tool, um, Clustering Geodata Cubes, um, uh, CGC, um, which, as the name suggests, it's uh, about clustering, and we try to make it suitable to work with the geospatial uh, data sets, so, and in particular with raster data sets. And yeah, just as a uh, uh, introduction, it's a package with much more or narrower scope than what we've seen so far, like ESM bus model. Um, uh, cycle. So these are the people that were involved in this project. So uh, a part of, from the center, from the ECN center, a part of myself, uh, Oku and uh, Mayor Protus uh, uh, were involved. And then we had uh, Raul, Huritamilla and, and, and Serkan. And then my scared over the year from um, uh, Boku in, um, in, in Vienna. And uh, actually from Raul and Emma came the sort of the scientific motivation or the goal of the, uh, of the, of the tool, which is uh, um, uh, clustering uh, spatial temporal uh, data. Uh, and and in, in doing this, this task, we have basically two main uh, challenges. Uh, one is that we want to avoid uh, standard uh, clustering approaches that uh, consider the data one dimension at a time. So we don't want to perform um, uh, a clustering of a space-time matrix like the one shown here, uh, clustering only in space or, or, or in time. Uh, because we might uh, miss correlation along the uh, along the other dimension, and, and this gets even worse when we consider uh, an additional dimension, so um, like a band or thematic dimensions, uh, uh, and so we really move towards real data cubes. Um, so we want a method that really uh, uh, find blocks or cubes in, in in our data with similar values, um, accounting for the full dimensionality of the of the. Uh, the data sets. And the second challenge is the uh, data set sizes that, that, that we want to consider. So we have uh, satellites and um, uh, remote sensors and climate data that can easily cover um, global or conti continental scales um, and, and with higher and higher resolutions. So we want to move towards being able to analyze these data sets also because finding patterns in these big data is, is it's, it's even more important, right? Like to extract information from this amount of data sets. Um, so those are the main uh, um, challenges or um, uh, things that we wanted to address with in, when developing uh, CGC, clustering to data cubes. Uh, so we have implemented some uh, uh, iterative co-clustering and, and tri-clustering algorithms to work uh, uh, specifically with two-dimensional and three-dimensional uh, uh, data sets, accounting for the, for the full dimensionality of, the, um, of, the, of, this, uh, of these data sets. Um, uh, the, the package also includes an optional final uh, cluster refinement um, uh, uh, step that can help to uh, um, like uh, ease in the identification of uh, um, uh, patterns in the in the data. So I will come back to this in a in a second. Um, uh, for for the co-clustering and clustering algorithms, we offer uh, different implementations uh, that are suitable to work on a, a single machine. So for data sets that uh, well fit into the memory of a, of a single computer or um, uh, to, to work on a computer cluster, um, so for larger, larger data sets. And we do that by exploiting uh, uh, the Dask library. So the algorithms that are implemented in, in CGC are actually quite generic so that it can be applied to um, basically any positive uh, data matrix, but we try to, uh, when sort of selecting the specific of the algorithms or uh, in the documentation, in the uh, tutorials, to, to make it s suitable for the spatial data analyst to, to, to be used. Um, so uh, this is the uh, uh, GitHub uh, repo uh, where you can find the, 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 the code. So what, what type of analysis can you actually do with, the, with, this, uh, with this package? So uh, show it here for a toy um, uh, data uh, in, in 2D uh, that uh, it's a data matrix with two dimensions that could be space and time. So uh, when doing co-clustering, what we actually do is to assign each uh, row to a row cluster and each column to a column cluster so that if when you reorder uh, the uh, rows and, and columns according to these uh, uh, cluster indices, you obtain uh, uh, such a blocked uh, structure. So the, the assumption is that there is a hidden um, a checkerboard-like structure, like um, as shown here, um, hidden in your in your uh, in your data sets, and uh, uh, 
on top of this uh, co-cluster, we have this um, uh, refinement uh, or post-processing uh, step that is based on, on k-means uh, that helps to um, perform an additional grouping to merge these uh, co-clusters into, um, yeah, into uh, uh, higher order clusters. Um, sort of to be able to break this uh, checkerboard structures that was uh, um, uh, initially imposed by the, uh, by the algorithm. Um, as a, a real world use case for this, uh, for this tool, we have uh, 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 applied the CGC to um, a study of uh, uh, phenological data sets. So we have looked at some uh, uh, spring index uh, models uh, that contains two uh, gridded indices, so for the day of first uh, uh, leaf and the day of first bloom, uh, computed that uh, uh, for the full um, United States, uh, con for continental United States, at high resolution, so one kilometer um, uh, grids. Um, uh, and, and we have performed, or it's, it's, it's what's in progress, but we are performing co-clustering uh, analysis for each of these indices um, uh, separately. Uh, sort of to extract phenological patterns both in space and time, as, as, as shown in the, in, in the figures. But we also want to then uh, uh, run three clustering analysis for a um, set of uh, uh, sp uh, spring indices, sort of to find correlations between these, uh, these, uh, these different indices. Uh, using this uh, uh, real-world uh, uh, data set, we have generated some downscale version of, of, uh, of this that we use in, uh, in some tutorials, which we have published together with the, uh, with the package. Um, those are in the form of Jupyter notebooks that uh, are rendered in, um, in at, this, uh, uh, at this website, so you can, you can find them there. Uh, there are also environment um, configuration files and links to uh, run this live in my binder, so if you want to try them out, you can simply click and you, uh, uh, on these links and you find it one. Uh, uh, environment where you can play with the tool and, and see whether uh, it can be helpful for your uh, for your research. Um, yeah, again, this is the uh, repository of the of the code. If you have any feedback, we would be very happy in hearing uh, your uh, yeah your opinion or your comments. Thanks. Thank you very much, Francesco. So, um, are there any questions? Yes, Juan Carlos. Thank you. Um, thank you very much for your talk. Amazing. You talk about, you mentioned two, three dimensions, and I was yeah. wondering if you have any plans or any experience to go beyond three dimensions, yeah. which is something that we struggle tremendously you know, yeah. in certain problems. Yes, so the algorithm itself that we are using, or the generalization of the algorithm that we have brought from uh, like two dimension to, 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 to three dimension, could in principle be generalized to, to, to more uh, dimensions. We, I think so far we haven't really seen the need to go further than that because like this three dimension can typically be like space, time, and then a thematic dimension. So um, we didn't see much the need for other additional dimensions, but yeah, I mean, could consider that. Yeah. Other questions? I have one small question. So basically, you showed um, many products at the end of the project. Actually, two questions. First of all, how long did it take? So what's the duration of the project? And in fact, this is my question also for the others, uh, e-water cycle and also ESM VAL2 too, because uh, it, my impression is that they are long-lasting projects, so they are not only one, one year. So maybe I will be happy if you can provide information about that. And the second one, um, basically, yeah, software is one product, and you, you show the tutor tutorials, etc. But um, um, and do you also have a kind of publications or a sim similar outputs uh, as as a, a outcome of this project? Uh, you, you mean related to the software itself? Uh, the yes, publication for example. Or? Yes, yeah. yes. So um, the the first question regarding the uh, how long did took like the project, like developing the software. Um, we started from some uh, um, like initial um, MATLAB, MATLAB uh, uh, codes, um, and like the project that brought us to uh, completing the, the delivery of the package, um, uh, doing some tests. Um, I think it was two short project uh, of uh, in, in total it lasted two years, but it was like 
uh, two short projects. Uh, so it was, let's say, half a year to a year in like cumulative time. Um, and the second question about the publication, yes, so we have published this as a, um, in, in the Journal of Open Science, Open Source Software. Um, it is, it's a journal that accepts um, um, uh, yeah, publication of, of, of software. Um, and it, it's shorter, uh, uh, short papers, uh, very much focused on the software. So um, it, it was a very nice experience also to, 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 to publish in there. And uh, uh, everything goes through the uh, repository of the, of the code. So reviewers open issues and, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a very nice uh, way to publish your, your software. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks, Francesco.